Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In today's video, we're going to look at a lead code problem and the problem's name is maximum odd binary number. So in this question, we're given a string S that contains at least one one and binary means that it contains either zero or one as its characters. Our task is to rearrange the bits in such a way that the resulting binary string is the maximum odd binary number that can be created from the input S. And our task is to return a string representing the maximum bi odd binary number that can be created from the input string s. And a note is given that the resulting string can have leading zeros. So here in this case, it can have leading zeros. Now let's see how we can solve this question. So we know that in the input string s, we are given either zeros and ones, and there is at least one one present. So our task is to make a odd number. So out of the character zero and one, to make a odd number, your number has to end with one. So for example, if this was zero, zero, one, or if it was one, zero, one, all these cases, there should be a one in the end for it to be odd and we need a maximum value. So let's build our output for the first two examples and make our observations. So here we know that the last digit has to be a one because we need to make it odd. So this has to be a one and the rest of the two characters are zero. So we'll place them here. So this will be your output, which is expected here. Now we know again, we have to get a one here. So we used one one. So total number of ones are equal to two and total number of zeros are equal to two. So we used a one here, so we have to decrement one value. Now we have two zeros and one one to fill the rest of the three spaces. And our task is to make a maximum odd number value. So to make the value maximum, we have to add as many ones from the beginning, right? So for example, if we place the zero here and if we place the one here, this is not maximum compared to when you place one in the beginning and then you add zero. So whatever ones are left, you start adding them from the beginning. You have one one left. So I add it in the beginning. So I add that one here and the number of ones is zero and the two zeros are remaining. I'll fill them in the between. So this is your expected output, which is matching here. Now let's do the same. We'll do a dry run. So first we have to count the number of zeros and number of ones. So I create a variable ones, which is initially zero. And I keep iterating through the input string from starting to end. If that character is a one, I can repeat it. So we start from here. It is a zero. Next, we are here. It is a one. So increment it. Next, we are here. Next, we are here. It is a zero. It is a one. So add one. It is a one. So add one. These are zeros. And we have one again. We have another one. It's a zero. We have one. We have one. And it's a zero. So total number of ones are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there are total seven ones. You don't need to keep track of a uh, variable zero. So directly you can calculate the values of zeros by finding out the length of the string s. So length of string s minus the number of ones it will give you the number of zeros because it is mentioned that it is a binary string. So it contains either zeros or ones. So length of the string is 13 and there are seven ones. So number of zeros is equal to six. Now let's create our output string. So it has 13 entries to be filled. So I place 13 entries and like I said, to make a number odd, we place our last number as one. So this is one and decrement the count of ones. And we place the remaining six ones in the beginning. One, two, three, four, five, six. So remaining six ones are in the beginning. So number of ones will become zero and the rest of the six zeros will be filled here. One, two, three, four, five, six. And the last one is a one. So this will be your output, which is satisfying the conditions, which is given to us that the output should be a maximum odd binary number. This is a maximum odd binary number because it is odd as the last number is a one. You might ask yourself that why aren't we filling the remaining ones from the end? Because if you fill the remaining ones from the end, you have to fill the beginning with zeros. And if zeros are present and then one is present, this is not maximum compared to when one is present and you fill the rest with zeros. So this is a maximum value. So you start filling the remaining ones from the beginning. Now let's take a look at the code and implement the logic. So this is the input string as given to us and we have to return a string as our output. So I'm creating a variable one and creating a variable zero. I'm iterating through the input string as from left to right. So I'm iterating from left to right and keeping track of the variable one. I increment it whenever I point to a one. So for this example, one is initially zero. We iterate from starting to end. This is not a one. This is a one. So increment it. And this is not a one. So it remains same. And total number of ones is equal to one in this example. And I'm finding out the number of zeros. And by taking the length of the string, length of the string is three and subtracting the number of ones. 
so this is two so there are two ones inside the input now i'm creating our output i create a string builder though we have to return a string as our output i'm creating a string builder sb so that appending takes o of one time whereas in a string it will take o of n time so o of one is better so i'm using a string builder and later in the end i'm converting that string builder into a string which is the expected return type now here we know that the last space inside the output so this will be a string builder i need three spaces right so i fill once in the beginning so i iterate till once minus one minus one because we need one one to be placed in the end so that is why in the remaining ones so total number of ones is equal to one so one minus one is equal to zero so zero is less than zero so it will skip the for loop so no one will be added in the front and now i iterate through to the total number of zeros total number of zeros is equal to two so i start from zero i add a zero here next i will become one then i add a zero here next i will become two and this condition will fail i come out and in the last index i have to add the remaining one which is present because i iterated through total number of ones minus one so i have one one present for here for sure which i'm adding in the last position to make it odd and finally we have to convert our input string builder into a string using the two string method so the time complexity of this approach is o of n where n is the length of the string s and the space complexity is also o of n because i'm using a string builder to form our output that's it guys thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video